Harvey Proctor, who in 2015 was wrongly accused of being a whole host of incredibly nasty things. Harvey, look, thank you very much. Now, I understand that you think it is, quote, absurd that this individual should be named, which is something that I was asserting yesterday, and I completely get your, your view on that, but you do think that they should throw a press conference to out themselves. Is that right? Well, thank you for inviting me on. Yes, uh, I respect you, but you were wrong yesterday when you suggested that a member of parliament should use parliamentary privilege to name this person. Mm. He definitely should not. It would be a, um, an abuse of parliamentary privilege if anyone did. Uh, I think that uh, no one should name this person. If you remember, uh, Tom Watson uh, went and used parliamentary privilege in Parliament mm. uh, to disastrous consequences and started a moral panic um, which went everywhere. So what I do think is this, following from my own personal experience, I know that my experience is slightly different in that the allegations made against me were far worse than the ones that have been made against the uh, BBC presenter. What I think he should consider doing is what I did, fed up with tittle-tattle, smears and stains and allegations, being placed in the public arena by the Metropolitan Police, by the BBC, by the way, and other media, television and radio uh, commentators, what he should consider doing is throw a press conference, as I did, and put all the facts in the public arena if he is innocent. So, that's interesting, because you obviously had no problem doing that. Would you be surprised if he doesn't do that? Do you think that... Do you think that that would maybe pose... I am, not, I am not going to put any pressure on him to do anything. Mm. It is a matter for him. What I do know is the pain and the aggravation and the horror mm. that will be going through his mind and that of his family and would not wish to add any pain to that. It is a matter for him but if he was seeking my advice, then I would suggest he throws a press conference at the earliest opportunity. And what happened when you threw a press conference? You managed to put your side of it out there and get ahead of the story, and did it make things infinitely better? I'm not sure I got ahead of the story. Well. The story was well underway. Yeah. The Metropolitan Police had already said that my accuser was credible and true when he was incredible and untrue. And the media were taking every drip, drip from the Metropolitan Police as gospel. After my press conference, there was a better balance and the media did not believe uh, the Metropolitan mm. Police and certainly didn't believe um, Carl Beach, my accuser. Mm. I think uh, that he should consider that. Um, he may not, he may think that he will never be identified. I think in terms of the media, yeah. he probably will be. Better for him to take the initiative, okay. grab the narrative. That okay. will be my advice. Well, look, Harvey, thank you. Thank you very much. It is always a pleasure talking to you. I really enjoy our, our conversations, uh, and certainly when it comes to this particular topic as well, your, your, your insights as well. That's Harvey Proctor, though, the former Conservative Party uh, MP.